What is an SRT file and why is it important? Hi everyone, I'm Becca and I'll be explaining this in this video, plus showing you an example of an SRT file and also how you can add subtitles to your videos quickly using the online video editing suite Veed. So what is an SRT file? An SRT file or subrit file is one of the most commonly used raw closed caption file formats or subtitling formats. You can use this type of file to upload closed captions to YouTube videos. Why are SRT files and subtitling so important? To ensure your videos are inclusive and easily digestible by any audience, it's crucial that you add subtitles as an option to watch with your video. This allows you to reach a wider audience. What does an SRT file look like? So this is what an SRT file looks like. This example shows you three caption frames. The first line is the caption number. The second line is the start and end time for the caption. And the third line is the text that is being said. So how do you make an SRT file? First, let's head over to veed.io. You can search for veed, V-E-E-D, in your search engine, or you can click the link in the description. Veed is a free online editing platform that allows you to edit videos quickly and simply. Once you have signed up and logged into Veed, you'll be prompted to begin a new project. Click the upload a file button and find the files you wish to add subtitles to. Veed will then import your video. This may take a few seconds to a few minutes depending on your Wi-Fi speed. To begin the process of creating an SRT file for your video, head over to the sidebar and click on the subtitles tab. This will open the subtitle window. Click on the auto transcribe button and then select the language you are speaking in in your video. Make sure your video is selected and then press start. Veed will then automatically transcribe your video into subtitles. This could take a few seconds to a few minutes depending on your Wi-Fi speed. You can see that Veed has created the subtitles and they are placed above the video in the timeline. I'm now just going to hit play to see if there are any errors in the subtitles. Hello, this is the example I'm using to show you what an SRT file looks like. There aren't any errors in the subtitles for my video, but if yours comes back with a couple of spelling mistakes, it's very easy to fix this. Head over to the text box window and you can correct any spelling errors here. If the timing for your subtitles isn't quite correct, click and drag the sides of the subtitle box to adjust the timing. Once you are happy with the subtitles in your video, click on the options tab. Here you can see the download subtitles feature. Use the drop down menu to select which file format you wish to save in. We're talking about SRT files, so I'm going to select that and then hit the download button. You can now upload this file to your video on YouTube, which will then add closed captions. If you want to export your video with the subtitles, click on the export button in the top right. You can then use the drop down menu to select which quality you want to export in. I'm going to select HD and then make sure your burn subtitles button is highlighted. When you're ready, hit the export button. Veed will then render your video. This could take a couple of seconds to a few minutes, depending on your Wi-Fi speed. You can then check your video by pressing play. If there are any errors that you want to correct, click the edit video button and this will take you back into the Veed editing studio. However, if you are happy with your video, click the download MP4 button and this will be downloaded to your computer. And that's how you add subtitles to a video and also make an SRT file. If this video was helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. Don't forget, you can join Veed for free today with the link in the description. And for more easy to follow editing tutorials, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.